If God had a voice, it would be Andrea Bocelli. Those are the exact words of Celine Dion. And just by listening to Andrea, you would agree. Maybe the voice of God would be stretching it, but certainly, after sitting down and listening to Andrea Bocelli speak and then sing, I'd say he has the voice of an angel. So what makes Andrea Bocelli special? What makes you, Andrea Bocelli, different oh, from the rest of them? Honestly, I don't know. Probably nothing. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't decide these things. It's always the, the audience uh, deciding because we sing for them, only for them. So you don't think you're any special from the rest of the uh, opera singers out there? No, because I think, uh, of course, uh, not, not every s opera singer uh, is perfect and good, and not, not every opera singer has a uh, nice soul, but there are. And uh, it, I repeat, it's impossible to say why uh, I had a success in of the world. Sometimes I ask, uh, I ask this to myself, but there is not an answer. In 1992, Italian rocker Zucchero asked Andrea to record a demo song for Luciano Pavarotti. And from then on, there was no turning back. Andrea was discovered, and he moves from local piano bar to the big time. The, uh, it, uh, Zucchero said you have some a soul that no other opera singer has. What is this soul that he's referring to? I'm happy that Sucro says this, but honestly, I think that Sucro doesn't know many opera singers, and um, I can I can say that many opera singers uh, have wonderful and big soul. Corellis, first of all. But sh surely, uh, <coughs> the, the most important thing singing is the soul. It's not the technique or, uh, of course, technique, it's, uh, it's important in order to perform well. But basically, we need of a soul. As humble as he may sound, Andrea knows he's achieved quite a lot. It is not every day we see a lawyer change courts and sing and excel at it. Bocelli's success has been phenomenal. Never before has the world seen a classical musician achieve the success of a pop singer. From a lawyer to an opera star, what inspired you to sing? I was born and grew up, I think, with a passion for the scene. And um, my study in law, it has been a in uh, an accident <laughs> because my parents they of course they want that, that I to give me something more uh, in order to be more sure in the life but my passion it has been always for the sing when did you realize that you wanted to sing professionally when uh, when I realized oh well it's difficult to say but uh, very soon, I, so I understood that probably that was my destiny, because uh, everywhere somebody asked me to sing in the, in the, in the school, in the church, uh, for the, the, to the party. <coughs> and uh, probably w already when I was a child, I thought um, to sing it's my destiny. Did you ever imagine you become a big opera or pop opera star, in fact? No, because uh, success has not rules, and uh, it's impossible to image something like that. And today, as well, I am surprised because uh, uh, listening my performance, uh, they are not so great, I think. And and <coughs> I'm always so surprised uh, uh, for the affection of the people, but of course I'm very happy.
Over the years, Andrea collaborated with numerous big name stars, Celine Dion, Sarah Brightman, Eros Ramazzotti, Zucchero, and Luciano Pavarotti, among others. But there is one other person that he wants to sing with. Christina Aguilera. Why Christina because, Aguilera? Because she has a wonderful voice, a voice like an instrument. And uh, it's not so usual be between among the pop singers in general. With Christina Aguilera's voice and Andrea Bocelli's angelic tones, who knows? This could be another pop opera recipe for success. <laughs>